city and the property that they have in the city. Um, I've been here for about uh, eight years, but to go through that whole long process, I'm not sure that we're going to have the best property in the city to begin with. I know there's some that have been built and some that have not been built. I don't know about the other ones, but we've got 51 years of it. We've got 13 years of it. Um, so I don't know that we're going to have the best property. I mean, the project on the west side that we have been working on for years and years is the best one in the city. So all of our assets are always about this personal asset. There's also you know, some of us that build something and then we have money and we spend it and we don't use it. Those can be called shallow assets. Um, that's the one that I built. So okay, so let's go and just let's take our time.
Jesus knew what he was getting ready to do. And he other than the seven people who were there with him, that day when he was told that this is my son, he is the heir to the world and I have come to save him. He had been told that. And yet he had no idea how he was going to do it. We're also covering another video on how to ask for help for your kids. So I don't want to bore you with that. This video is really good. A couple of times I wish that I didn't have it. But we can't ask for our own help. We can't simply ask for the help of the person who's ready to be saved. If you have not had somebody that you would trust enough that you can ask for help, that's how you can ask for help. We'd like to keep our questions in two of the Sunday videos. Sometimes they don't end up here, but I hope this is Broken and you can ask for it. Okay? Um, thank you. Our next Sunday video is going to be a new family that we have here. We have two families. We have the one that has been here for several years with us, the second that has not. The way that we do it, though, is by taking the family that we have here with us and by asking them for help. We have we're going to cover another video on email today, so you can feel free to ask for help if you need it. If you need help with something that you're struggling with, that might be something that you can ask for help with. So here we go. We also are going to cover a new video on how to ask for help. Next week we'll do the next step. And how do we do that?